In this deafening silence, I still remember our last sunrise over the sea, when absolute calm and the sound of the waves on the shoreline suggested an eternal time lived only by us, struck soul and body by a love never felt. And caressing your face, radiated by the magenta heat of the first light, the unique feeling of belonging to us forever and ever. Months later, men and women started talking about a new saint who anonymously performed miracles of healings, impossible with medical science alone. People were starting to call on him for help in places of worship, and when countless people began to believe him as the only way of life, he showed his face, revealing his name to the world. Chris Santitu. The Frank Show was the first broadcast to host it. Welcome to Telejournal 7. Today, we're in the company of the Man of Miracles. More than a thousand people have now been saved, almost all victims of fatal accidents and incurable diseases in the terminal phase. Mmm, it's such an honour for me to meet you. The first question for you is, how do you do that? It is a gift, Frank. God has given me the power to help you. Just simply love me. If you love me, I'll reciprocate. It is a new beginning for all of us. A new beginning? What do you really mean? Whoever follows me will see the light of a greatness he never imagined. There are people that compare you to the new Messiah. What do you think about it? I do not aspire to give myself a name. I know that my purpose, my gift, is to be what each of you would like me to be, to save souls. I am connected to all of you, to those people, to you. What I am showing you with my work is the answer to the fragility of your faith. That is, simply by existing, I offer something to believe in. A few months later, Michael's cancer was now in the terminal stage. At that time, Chris was in Europe, and Michael put all his last energies into being able to meet him. Michael returned to St. John, perfectly healthy. We worked shoulder to shoulder again, but I felt that, inside him, that regained normality would never belong to him again. I can't stand that hassle Jacob anymore. It's 3 a.m. again. If I could go back, I would have asked Chris to let me die. Of course he's crazy. He cured you of cancer just by touching you. When I think about this, I get goosebumps. And you wanted to slice me with your lucky charm. If you want, we still have time. <laughs> Michael! Michael!
Holy shit. What the hell is going on? This storm is breaking down all over the world. A meteor shower is sweeping entire cities. We have lost contact with Washington, New York, Chicago, Philadelphia. We invite all listeners near Greenwich to take refuge in the fallout shelter located in Stepperward Street. I repeat, we invite all listeners near Greenwich to take refuge in the fallout shelter located in Stepperward Street. Holy God. Please, Eve, tell me you're okay. Adam? Are you okay? Yes. Are you okay? Yes, but... I'm on my way. Don't leave the house. Shit. Hurry up. Is this really happening? I... A thud woke me. The neighbors were leaving. They say there's this meteor shower? There are videos everywhere. I thought it was a joke at first, but I turned on the TV and... Adam! There are areas raised to the ground. It's a nightmare. I'm scared. Eve, I'll be with you in ten minutes. You have to lock yourself in the house. Don't open to anyone. Is Michael with you? Adam, can you hear me? Listen, something happened to Michael. What? I had to defend myself. I saw him with my own eyes. It wasn't him. Defend yourself from whom? Adam, what are you saying? This series of events, it's all connected to each other. First Michael, then the tornado, now some fucking meteorites crashing. What did you see, Adam? You're scaring me. I'm already terrified and alone. I need you. Please. Listen, pack a few things and some clothes. We need to try to get to Greenwich's fallout shelter. Nothing can happen to us there. There will be other people, too. We'll be safe. Adam! When I got home, however, I couldn't believe what I had found.